Hello web developers, um, today we're going to be talking about Bootstrap Grid System and Bootstrap Grid System allows up to 12 columns across the page. We do not, um, if you don't want to use all the 12 columns, you can group them together to create wider columns. This is um, uh, the Bootstrap Grid System, so, um, so only always we're going to be using spam 1, 4, 8, 6, or 12. Um, and then just play around with those numbers um, and create um, wider columns or smaller columns. It's up to you. Bootstrap grid system is responsive and the columns will rearrange depending on the screen size. On a big screen, it might look better with the contents organized in three columns, but on a small screen, it will be better if the contents items were stacked on top of each other. Remember that grid columns should add up to 12 for a row. More than that, columns will stack no matter the viewport. The, boot, the Bootstrap's grid system has four classes. We're going to see all four of them. Um, extra small, XS for phones, small for tablets, SM, medium for desktops, MD, or large, LG, for larger desktops. The classes can be combined to create more dyna dynamic and flexible layouts. Okay, so we have a grid system rules, and we're going to be analyzing this code over here for that. And this is a generic code, it's not a real example, but I think it'll be useful for the purpose of this demo. Okay, so the rules. Rows must be played within a container class or container fluid class. Um, container, as we talked before, is a fixed width. Container fluid class is a full width. We are going to use rows to create horizontal groups of columns. Contents should be placed within columns, and only columns may be immediate children of rows. Predefined classes like row and um, col um, column small four are available for quickly making grid layouts. These are going to be basically all classes. A row is a class. And when we create a column that's small with a, with four, um, we're talking about creating a column that will be working with this. Okay, so we're creating call small four. And basically, what we and the other set of rules of the two last rules is that columns can create gutters, gaps between them with padding, so that padding is offset in rows for the first and last column and via negative margins on the row class. And finally, grid columns are created by specifying the number of 12 available columns you wish to span. For example, three equal columns will use three classes called dash small four. Okay. Um, and finally, we're going to let's analyze this. This is a big basic structure of the bootstrap grid. And so to create the layout, you want to create a container. So we have the container here. Then next we want to create a row. So we add a row. And we're going to decide the numbers of columns. Okay, so here note that the columns are with asterisks, asterisk stars, and we can display Oh, uh, we can always show up to add up to 12 for each row okay so basically when I was talking about in the rules that I wanted to create something with call small 4 I was talking about this is add small remember that small will be for a tablet and 4 because I wanna um, with 4 that's like we show on the table this type of column okay and we if we do this three times if we do it here three times, we can get a result just like this because we created um, three equally columns. Okay. Finally, I just want to leave you with this table. I think this table summarizes how the Bootstrap grid system works across multiple devices. Okay. So, like we were talking about up, up before, um, for small devices, we're going to be using the extra small. For small devices, we're going to be using the SM, small. For medium devices, MD, medium. And for largest desktops, we're going to be using large. 
So every <clears throat> um, class has 12 columns and here are the width. The width are going to be automatic adjust and with a small just then we'll approximately 62 pixels, 81 pixels, 97 pixels and there's the gutter width we were talking about and notice that containers are not nestables but our columns are nestables so we can have fun playing around with that and with this we I think we are going we conclude our intro to bootstrap grips hopefully this video helps you understand the concept and helps you out in your development projects so good luck stick around for our next video on the bootstrap carousel bye bye